Are you new to painting by numbers and looking for mistakes to avoid? My name is Naomi from www.gopaintbynumbers.com and today I'm going to share with you my top seven mistakes that I see beginners make all the time. Let's get started. Number one, not correctly preparing your canvas. So when your canvas arrives in the mail, it will probably be rolled up. This means that you should take some time to straighten it out, either by leaving it out overnight or perhaps even ironing it. People are often scared about ironing their canvases, but our canvases are made out of cotton, so they will iron out just like any other material. Number two, not considering your starting point. Now, when you first get your kit, it can be very tempting to just jump right in and start painting wherever you see a corresponding number. Make sure you don't start at the bottom of your painting, for example, or make sure that you don't start with your lighter colors. We do have longer videos that will explain exactly where to start if you're looking for some more ideas. Number three, ignoring transparent paints. In any paint kit that you will receive, some of the paints will not fully cover the lines or the numbers. This problem can be solved by either preparing white out or going over certain spots several times. It's just a matter of finding what works best for you. Number four, not cleaning your brushes in between paints. Now, if you don't clean your brush before you switch over to the next paint, you will carry some of the previous color with you, and that will affect the look of your painting. Number five, being too heavy handed with your paints. If you paint on too thick, you might risk running out of paints. That's why we recommend mixing your acrylic paint with water. It's more easily spread that way, and it'll look more professional. Number six, not correctly preparing your brushes. Frequently, some of the brushes in the kits will have stray hairs. If you try to paint like this, you can get color where you don't want it. So I recommend using a pair of scissors and trimming the brushes to be how you would like them. And number seven, not taking breaks. These kits take anywhere from 10 to 15 hours, maybe more and maybe less. But it's important that you remember that you can take breaks and come back to it later. I like to leave my painting in a place where I know it will be safe for a very long amount of time. I hope this video helped you in recognizing some of the major mistakes that beginners make. If you are inspired and would like to try painting some of your own, be sure to go to our website, www.gopaintbynumbers.com.